In this culinary series, Nitty Gritty Traveler proudly presents our freshest, tastiest, richest category yet. Welcome to Restaurants of Distinction. Today we're visiting a beautiful restaurant called Aid at Trinity, set on the shores of Trinity Point, Morissette Park. This modern Australian restaurant at Lake Macquarie is just over one and a half hours from Sydney. Superbly appointed, it whispers luxury with a hint of Mediterranean seaside destinations. Overlooking the marina, and serving up to 350 guests you can innocently forget about time, but not the service and the food, which is exemplary. Glancing across the menu we decided to go with an old-time favorite seafood starter of ours. A generous number of pan-seared scallops were cooked in just the right amount of brown butter, parsley oil and chives, and served with blackcurrants, lemon, and pine nuts. A delicious combination that any chef would be proud of. We then decided on a tasty vegetarian starter. Arancini balls are always popular, so we selected an Italian specialty, saffron arancini. Complete with goat's feta and a cheese by the name of Fier di Latte Mozzarella. Now to appreciate this dish, we should explain that mozzarella can be made with a few milks, however, the Fier di Latte Mozzarella is the final result of a preparation in which only the whole cow's milk is used. To continue, besides the goat's feta and the Fier di Latte Mozzarella in the arancini balls, there is also pecorino, leek, and saffron aioli. I won't labor on the detail, but pecorino is also a cheese that is also similar to parmesan. We should move on to the next dish. For the main course, we were served a tasty cut of pan-fried barramundi. It was served with Paris mash and dill, all on a sea of caper and lemon butter sauce. A pure delight for lovers of fish. Before I forget, we also ordered a rocket salad with pear, parmesan, walnuts, and aged balsamic dressing, and Avu, which is a trendy way of saying extra, virgin, olive oil. Oh my goodness, this main course was a dish to behold and savor. The serving of fresh kingfish ceviche, with just the right firmness, was balanced with avocado mousse, yuzu, green apple, finger lime, and avruga caviar. Oh, by the way, yuzu is a Japanese citrus lemon. And avruga caviar? Well it's more than just a caviar substitute, it's a delicious, yet expensive product, made from a smoked herring roe, rather than sturgeon, another fish for sourcing caviar. Desserts, oh desserts. They can be the full stop at the end of any satisfying food journey, so today, we ordered a serving of deep fried ice cream. However, here's an interesting fact. Deep fried ice cream was thought to have first been served during the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, which is where the iconic ice cream sundae was invented. Regardless of how they served it back then, today, we just loved how well the ice cream was preserved throughout the deep fry, and presented in a rich butterscotch sauce, and finished with a gold leaf on top. For those few who have enough room for a generous dessert, Summer Bomb Alaska should definitely be considered. A rich dessert for sure, with mango sorbet, fresh mango, blackberries and kiwi fruit, but so delicious. Normally Bomb Alaska is served flambe, but I can only assume that naked flames in a restaurant this size could be hazardous. As we finish our dessert, we would like to thank you for watching our review of 8 at Trinity, today's Restaurant of Distinction. With your support by clicking to subscribe, we'll be able to continue to review travel providers such as cruise ships, airlines, hotels, and restaurants of distinction. Thank you again for watching, but before you go, if you go to ngt.today you will see all of our reviews that are listed on YouTube. From all of us at NGT, happy traveling!